So Emma, what's the state of play in terms of expectations? You've seen sort of bouts of panic buying because Beijing is very fearful that they're going to see a repeat of what happened to Shanghai. Yeah, I mean, you have seen cases uh, slightly ease off a little bit, uh, around 49 uh, for Monday. Uh, but you, you have seen restrictions in Beijing now for around a month uh, without sort of moving into full lockdown. Uh, most districts are under work from home orders uh, and various other curves in place. Uh, so the, the signal that we're seeing of, of sending the vice premier or COVID czar Sun Chunlan into Beijing, she's been in, in Shanghai uh, focusing on the outbreak there, but the signal of her going to Beijing does uh, show that the regime's attention is shifting to the capital and what seems to be a bit of an immovable outbreak there. We have heard about outrage in Chinese social media when it comes to these home disinfections. What's been the public reaction so far to these very strict restrictions? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, in Beijing they are very, very concerned and wary about uh, a citywide lockdown being imposed. That would be a step up from these work from home restrictions that are currently in place. You can still go to the supermarket. You can still move around, uh, you know, with, with various restrictions in place. You need to wear a mask, of course, at all times outside your apartment. Uh, some places you need to get a clear and recent test to enter, like city parks. Uh, but a lockdown would be a step up and we saw a couple of weeks ago uh, sort of rumours spreading like wildfire on Chinese social media that Beijing was about to lock down which the authorities then had to deny uh, but we are a couple of weeks on from that the situation doesn't seem to have improved they are still seeing cases they are still seeing cases in the community so it may uh, may well be time in their view to intensify things.